three, two, one. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Welcome to the Be Kind Podcast and happy National Cat Day in honor of this super special, most amazing, fantabulous day in the world. We are going to be talking to cat lovers everywhere. Meow. And that was John. Who is joining us today? He is a fellow cat lover. Victor, my cat, is joining us today, and we're just randomly calling cat owners. So forgive us if this seems very strange and a little confusing to people, but we're just basically putting people on the spot. And the first person we're putting on the spot is Steph. Hi, Steph. How's it going? Good. How's it going with you guys? I'll just celebrate National Cat Day, talking to cat people. So life's pretty good. So tell us about your cats. Well, They are all rescues of some sort. Um, Many years ago, I volunteered with an animal shelter and then worked for them. So I used to foster bottle babies since I was able to take them back and forth to work with me. And a couple of them stayed on. And then many years later, I fostered for a rescue and I had taken in some hospice cats or medical needs. And then I also trapped a cat outside of my house that I believe to be feral and after about six months of living outside he decided he would like to be an indoor cat as well so he lives with me so everyone has their own unique quirky cat stories do you have any stories about your cats that really speak to how awesome and or weird and or terrible they are i have a cat that we call um john's actually met him he calls him my attack cat my friend called him ninja cat um he was a grump since a baby and like to attack and bite everybody. So yeah. I thought for as adorable as he was, somebody would adopt him and then find out that he wasn't always the nicest and maybe not be so nice to him. So he lives here and we just have to put him away when company comes over because he will also attack me when people are over. He's otherwise mostly <laughs> lovely, but he likes to hang out on the cat tree and smack people when they go by. <laughs> yeah, I the one time when I was there, I was just sitting there and you're just like, and you like came after me. I was like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> take it easy there. Take it easy. We just met. Yeah. I like the term yeah. put him away. Makes him sound like he's a raunchy <laughs> piece of art or something when company <laughs> comes over. <laughs> Put him away just means he goes into the bedroom to hang out while we have company because he's not appropriate for company. And what are your three favorite things about cats? I think I like their, as people call it, catitude and independence (laughs) um, as I'm probably somewhat like them because I like quiet. I like things on my own terms. So uh, I think they suit me well. And then the dogs just, I have dogs also, so they force me to be social at times. (laughs) So that's good, too. A little bit of balance. All right, that's one thing. You got two more of your favorite things about cats. Two more favorite things about cats? Yeah, I'm using the term Um, favorite very inappropriately right now. Because favorite implies one, but I'm asking you for three. I think I like the different personalities and the challenge of teaching them new tricks. I think people tend to think cats are not smart and don't listen, but mine all know their names. Attack Cat and his tricks, and he believes he's a dog. He was sick when he was a baby, so he couldn't hang out with the other cats, so he hung out with my dogs, and now he sits for treats, and he can twirl and things like that, like everybody else, and he likes to fetch. Nice. And you got one more? One more. I think I just like their sleekness and agility, their ability to climb on everything or squeeze through places. I don't know, the acrobatics of it, I guess. Acrocatics. Acrocatics. (laughs) They're like little house lions and panthers. (laughs) And what is the best cat name you've ever heard in your life? Hmm. I have a three-legged cat named Bump, so I guess that's cute. (laughs) (laughs) I did not name her. (laughs) I didn't name her, but her name is Bump, so we sing the Spider Bump song. (laughs) Oh, I'm not familiar with that song. Would could you possibly sing it right now? Like spider bump, spider bump does whatever a spider bump does. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's literally that's all I have. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so we actually have a bunch more people that we need to 
uh, get a hold of. But we thank you so much for being on. You are amazing. Well, I love that you do so much for animals. Seriously, because well, like earlier today, you were saying that you know you were at a sanctuary helping out. So yeah, today I cleaned chicken and goat and uh, cow bowls and swimming pools and stuff. Aw. <laughs> So yeah, for that's breakfast. that's so amazing that you do that. So yeah, Aww, th- thank thanks. you for being on. Thank well, you so thank much. Thank you for doing this and celebrating Cat Day. <laughs> it is our pleasure. Happy National Cat Day. All right, I'm gonna go play with my kiddos. All right, see ya. All right, take care. Hi. Happy National Cat Day, Adrian. Yeah. Yay! Yay! So excited. <laughs> How are you guys celebrating? Does this count as celebration? Oh, this is our celebration. We're having a party. We even did a special intro with cats. But yeah, I'm hanging out with Victor because that's the only cat I have access to right now. Aww, no. <laughs> he was being pretty vocal a few minutes ago. So yeah. That's because this is normally when he gets fed when I'm home because he gets hungry around three mm-hmm. and then he starts bugging mm-hmm. me. And so now he's just staring us down. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Let's talk about your cats. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, one of them is going up the stairs right now, Winnie. She currently has a haircut. She gets a lion cut in the (laughs) summer, and it is the cutest. I really can't even stand how adorable she is when she has her haircut. Because she's a Persian, and in the summer, it's obviously hot. So, cools her down. Darrow is upstairs in the bed, just chilling as he normally does. And um, interestingly enough, while we are talking right now, I was looking at the chair he normally sits on, mm-hmm. which has a blanket on it, and I just found two cat pukes on it. Oh, that's so not that's fun. how Darrow's celebrating by hiding cat pukes <laughs> on his chair on the blanket for me to find. Isn't that cute? That is adorable. Aww. Now, now Darrow is kind of like a celebrity in a sense that. Well, he's more, actually, I should say, he's more like a model. Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, he is so photogenic. I can't take it. I can't take a bad photo of him. He's just so cute from yeah. every angle. <laughs> but but wasn't he uh, an art uh, subject? Oh, he was. Yes, I do have a portrait of um, both Darrow and my other cat, Dolce. Mm. Done by vegan artists, both of them. Nice. Yeah. I only know the name Darrow because that's the main character in the Red Rising book series. And that main character is nicknamed the Reaper because he just basically kills <laughs> everyone. So oh, he sounds, oh like a, sounds like a pleasant person to be around. That is not <laughs> how Darrow is at all. He, okay, so Winnie likes to go after bugs. Dolce, unfortunately, has killed like bulls and mice in the past. Um, but Darrow, I'm pretty certain, has never, ever hurt any living animals other than the ones he eats in his cat food so he is he's just a little teddy bear he's one of those cats that you can never pet him too much or pet him in the wrong place because he loves it all day long on his tummy on his back on his neck on his chin on his head he's got really (laughs) i notice he has really long ears he does he has big ears abnormally long ears (laughs) yeah he has giant ears he also has a tricolored nose. It's orange, black, and white. Actually, and it's pink, so it's a quad. He's so <laughs> cute. And he purrs yeah. so loud. Like I've seen videos of him just hanging out and he's purring so loud and he's like barely in the same room with you. You know like, what's really funny? The last time I went to the vet with him, mm-hmm. and you would think when a cat's at the vet, they're scared, right. they're being weird. Right. He was on the table. The exam table, chilling, and um, I told the lady, the um, vet tech, I was like, "Hey, you know, he's he's really comfy. He's probably going to start purring soon, and he has the loudest purr." And she said, "Oh, I've heard loud purrs before." And the next thing you know, she walks out of the room. He starts purring because I'm petting him, and she walks past the door, and she was like, "Oh my God, you were lying." I heard him <laughs> down the hall. <laughs> That's, yeah, <laughs> it's incredible. He's really loud. He is a machine. <laughs> Let me see if I can actually get him going right now. I'm going to walk upstairs and pet him a little bit and see if we can get some purrs on on the air. And, okay. <laughs> okay. And while while you're doing that, I'm actually uh, playing with Victor right now with his little cat toy. And he, oh. is, he is not paying attention at all. He is terrible at playing. <laughs> oh, now he's getting into it. Oh, man. Now he's smacking it around. Oh, it's getting wild over here. 
<laughs> Do you guys have any good cat stories? Uh, Victor used to hop up on my old fridge in my old apartment and lick the air conditioning vent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. That's weird. A little bizarre. Uh, well, do you want to hear um, how we got Darrow to begin with? Yeah, that'd be a good story. So he was rescued from Animal Rescue Inc. And at that time, I volunteered there um, in the cat rooms for a couple of years. And I started seeing this guy, Brian. This is in 2013. Mm-hmm. And he knew I loved cats. So he said to me that he was thinking about adopting a cat. <laughs> And this was very early on in our relationship. It might have been less than a month. So I go down with him to Animal Rescue Inc. We check out all the cats. And one in particular was, you know, very interested in us. He kept coming up to us for snuggles. And he was vocal. And he was adorable. And so we decided between him and another cat, it was, you know, a toss-up. Like, which one? The other one's name was Chirp. And she was adorable. She was a tabby. And she was like, she was just as vocal and friendly. And but something drew us to Darrow. Aww. So anyways, um, he, you know, we chose Darrow, I guess, Brian, specifically, because it was going to be his cat. You know, he was picking a cat to adopt. Well, ultimately, he only did that to impress me. Hold <laughs> on. Do you hear him? I do. <laughs> Sounds like one of the velociraptors or something from Jurassic Park. And that's not even loud. He's kind of doing it like on the DL right now. I had to get real close to him. (laughs) So anyways, he's loving it. So anyways, yeah, that is how uh, we adopted Darrow. It was basically a a stunt from Brian to get me to like him. Oh, and here's the question. And we're Did still it work? together seven oh. years later. Oh, wow. Oh. So it worked. <laughs> it worked. It worked. <laughs> so if any guys are out there, they're looking for a way to, you know, impress a lady, don't buy a cat from a breeder. Go to a rescue and adopt a cat. I'm just going to throw out to the public at large. I have a cat that I adopted. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm- Joe's single. So, uh, ladies... Vegan cat lover. I mean, what's not to like? <laughs> Was that vegan cat lover or vegan, comma cat, comma lover? Because those oh. are very different things. Oh, okay. Punctuation yeah. is important. That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! But so, yeah, I mean, we're just basically celebrating around here by lounging, petting each other. Well, me petting them. <laughs> And but also like my cats also kind of pet each other, which oh, is yeah. funny. They'll lick each other and give each other, you know, rub up against each other. Yeah. It's adorable. Do yeah. cats make <laughs> bread on each other? Some I've seen cats do that. My cats used to do that. Oh yeah, um, Dolce kind of does that on Darrow. Um, it goes from being friendly to volatile very quickly, though. It's it's strange. I don't understand. They're like in love with each other, and then the next moment. Um, they're hissing and biting each other. <laughs> it's like, we're tired of your nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really understand. Cats are one of those animals who, like, you can never really understand what they're thinking. That's why I like them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's always a guessing <laughs> game with cats. It is. <laughs> <laughs> they're so interesting. They're so, they're, it's like, they're so above us. So what are your three favorite things about cats? Oh, um... Well, I would say they're toe beans. <laughs> oh my gosh, was that Victor? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. So toe beans are definitely in the top three. I love just like playing with Dara's paws and his little toe beans. He does have his claws. So like I touch his toe beans and then he like tries to like kill me with his Can I just pause? What's a, what's a toe bean? Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh. A toe bean are the little pads on the bottom of a cat or dog or, you know, lots of other animals have them. So it's their it's paws. Their yes, it's it's their paws, but, like, the actual, like, padding, like the... Yeah, so, but the cute way to say it is yeah. a toe bean. <laughs> um, what else do I love about them? Well, specifically about my three, um, because I can't really speak on everyone's cats. They're all so different, but um, they just make me feel good being around them they make me happy i mean most cats do make me happy but obviously being around my own cats i just 
I come home and I love to see them and interact with them. What is my third? Uh, I guess just their general personalities are all different. And it's interesting to get to know them because they're all individuals like us. There's, there's silly some days. Winnie is always looking really angry. Dolce has on and off days. I don't know if you've ever dealt with a cat who like one day is he wants to cuddle with you and be your best friend. And the next day he wants nothing to do with you and he will hide and he will run away from you and he hates you. Sounds like a Katy Perry song. (laughs) (laughs) Indeed. Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Ah, happy cat (laughs) day. She has a cat named Katy Perry. (laughs) Nice. That just seems pretentious. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, I love everything about cats. Darrow currently is, he doesn't want me to leave, so he's, like, trying to grab my hand and make me pet him. We can hear him purring so loud. <laughs> it's great. He actually, when we're trying to sleep, sometimes Brian um, wants me to take him out of the room because he is purring so loud <laughs> that he can't fall asleep. That is amazing. That is absolutely because, amazing. He doesn't just purr when he's sleeping, obviously. He also wheezes and um, snores. No. So he makes all the weird noises. But <laughs> yeah, I just love being around my cat. It's the best. Yeah, they're pretty perfect. <laughs> they- <laughs> Happy cat day. <laughs> oh. I agree, though. I love them. And I also love, now that I have a dog, I can see how much different they are. And it is kind of breaks my heart a little bit. But Aurora wants nothing to do with Darrow. And Darrow wants more than anything to cuddle with her. Mm -hmm. I know. He wants to cuddle with basically anyone. Anyone who walks through the door is his friend. Yeah. But I, I actually had cats and dogs when i was growing up and it did take them a while to warm up to each other eventually they did start to uh you know lay together and stuff like that so maybe in like a year or so things could change well it's already been it's been one year i'm yeah. hopeful i yeah. hope what will happen me too and before yeah. you go what's the best cat name you've ever heard <gasps> oh my gosh um hmm that's that's really put me on the spot. My parents, before I was born, had a cat that showed up on their back stoop, basically. He was in a flower pot that did not have a plant in it. He was a kitten. He fit into a tiny flower pot. And his name, they named him, obviously, but his name was Langhorn. And they, like, every year, they would add a name to his name, So, um, I can't remember the entirety of the name because it got very, very long. He lived till he was 18. Oh, wow. Yeah. And he was, he was a year older than me. So I was 17 and he was 18. Um, but his full name that I can remember was Langhorn Motley Pomplamuth Furry Cortez Rumble Thorndike Zygmunt Lee Elvis something, something, something Williams. (laughs) <laughs> Can you pick normal names like yeah. no, John, it Joe, Jim, names. Bill. It Bob. was always like these off the wall silly names that they found somewhere. Like, what is? I don't even know. Is that from a movie? Rumpel is or is it Rumpold? I'm not sure. Thorndike, Zygmunt, Leaf. It's not Leaf. It's Leaf. It's hard to say. <laughs> and then Elvis. Like, where did that come from? <laughs> that's like, pretty random. <laughs> that's like the only like normal name, Elvis, and that's not even normal, but. Anyways, um, and he was really like my first cat, so I'm gonna just say Langhorn. And there's also he named him after Langhorn, Pennsylvania. Mm. Well, thanks so. for talking to us. Yeah, we're... you're welcome. Yeah, happy International Cat Day, guys. Wait, is it international or national? Cat oh, it's day? international. International. It's the international. whole world. It's world Cat Day. Wow. <laughs> because everybody in the whole world loves cats, or the, at least they better. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and that's a threat. <laughs> In the nicest way. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Yeah. Have fun. Thanks for being on. All right, bye. 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 Hello? Hey. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>
So we're recording the podcast episode right now. We're calling a bunch of cat owners to talk about cats on International Cat Day. And I realize you don't own a cat, but it's your birthday, so we wanted to call you anyway and just talk about cats. So how do you feel about cats? Hi, I'm cool with cats. <laughs> I always thought I was more of a dog person, but then back when I used to work outside my home, I thought, well, if I had a pet slash companion animal, it would much have to be a cat because they're way more independent and it wouldn't be fair to leave a, a dog alone for nine or ten hours a day. Nice. Although the, although the issue with cats is it's much harder for them to be vegan than dogs. That's so true. A controversial issue. Okay. <laughs> I got really, that was pretty comprehensive. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Any, anything else about cats? <laughs> they covered it pretty well. Yeah, you did. Uh, what are your three favorite things about cats? Cats are always super soft and fluffy. Yeah. Like some dogs can have like wiry hair. Cats will generally, and I know this is always true, be the hell alone when you want to be left alone, and dogs don't always do that. And uh, cats are amazing natural athletes, but they can jump at the same height relative to the size of their body. And what is the best cat name you've ever heard? Oh, jeez, the best cat name I've ever heard. I'm going to go with the only cat I ever helped name, uh, which was a cat named Yogi, which doesn't make sense, except that the cat, uh, the cat people were as geeky as I was, and then when they were trying to figure out what to name the cat, I suggested they named the cat after a monster from Lovecraft Mythos. The cat's technical name was Dog Show Flaw, but they just called her Yogi for short. Nice. I also know a cat named Gozer. Hmm. I like that. Or from uh, Gozer the Gozerian from Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters, yeah. And everyone, we're talking to Dieter. I don't think we ever really introduced him. <laughs> oh, yeah, him. we did just kind of call you up and didn't really explain anything. But this uh, is Dieter. He's on our board of directors for the Animal Advocates. Great guy. Great all-around activist and member of the team. Not a cat owner. All right, Dieter. We don't want to take up too much of your special yeah. day, but happy International Cat Day and happy birthday. All right. Thanks for <laughs> the podcast. Bye. Bye. See ya. Hey, what's up? Hello? Hello? Get my phone out of the water. Get your phone out of the water? <laughs> so, so we're doing a podcast today, and we're talking about cats because it's International Cat Day. Meow. Jen, they're doing a podcast. They're talking about cats because it's International Cat Day. Oh, okay. Just tell them to send me the podcast. Get out of the water. <laughs> All right. I'm I'm sorry, guys. She's she's in the shower. She's not oh, in the she's in the shower. Well, it's a good thing we're not recording. I tried right to now. stick the phone in the shower. Oh, that would have been out. that would have been bad. Well, no, it's it's a life-proof case, though, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Oh, right. That would have been really interesting having her on the podcast talking about cats while in the shower. <laughs> that sounds like a shower talk podcast where you only do interviews in the shower because I, I know you guys are on vacation and stuff so i thought it would be yeah yeah funny. no definitely no i'm not i just got out of the shower and then she had to take when we were about to get dinner but i'm just waiting for her to get out now and get ready for well, dinner well can we talk to you about cats then yeah yeah I, I don't know i i i'm i might not be the most interesting person to talk to cats about because like i don't know a lot about cats but i'll well, try we'll, we'll keep it simple then we'll talk about your cats and then we'll ask what your favorite things about cats are. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, so let's talk about your cats. So what about your cats? Okay. <laughs> there's there's Dea and Mio. And uh, Mio is just like kind of like a, like he's more like a little lazy, miserable old cat that just likes to, you know, he just likes to laze around. He likes to lay down. He likes to eat his food. And he likes to eat a lot of food. And Dea, she's like young, like she like she had her when she was a kitten, so now she's getting bigger. So and she's just like full of energy and, and constantly into everything and wants to cause a nuisance. So they're like total opposites. Right. But they but, but they, they I don't know, they get along in some ways, but in other ways they don't, you know. So so Dea, that's an interesting name. She has yeah, a, I, she has a full name too, doesn't she? Yeah, I think she does. I think she does. Do you, do you know what that is? Uh, I think it has something to do with cashews and like <laughs> and, and non dairy cheese, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> I think it's day of cashew. Uh, that might be it. Yeah. So you're talking about Mio, and he's a pretty plump cat. I've I've seen yeah, this cat. But she took him like when she took him to the vet. Did she tell you about like the he had the like swollen or the 
infected anal gland. Oh no, I did not hear about that. Oh wait, yeah, yeah I did yeah, hear about that. I can't believe she didn't tell you. Yeah, well, he apparently like like one day we saw him and his like butt was all sore. Yeah, about like a month ago. Yeah, and then she took him to the vet and it was like a infected anal gland. I don't, I might be butchering, but it was an infected anal gland and like we had to put on antibiotics. But he's like super good about it though. Yeah. Yeah, that was like oh, yeah. about a month ago. I totally forgot that yeah. even happened. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like he's he's doing really well though. Like I mean, like he recovered fast and he was fine. Like like we put him on a pen medicine, like an anti-inflammatory, for like a couple of days, mm-hmm. and then like he was he was cool after that. It's just yeah, I don't I don't know what happened, but like he still ate. Like we knew something was up ago because like he still ate, but not the quantity that he usually eats. Like, he like ate like a fourth of what. It, like some days he would eat like like a quarter bowl and like normally if you would like fill up the bowl he'd eat his portion and then half a day is and then <laughs> you know, like he was just he was he's a gluttonous you know person yeah <laughs> or per, cat per, person, person. <laughs> what are your three favorite things about cats i like my favorite part is that they're not like dogs and my second favorite part is like they, they're not eager to please like dogs are right like, like, like they're really they're they're miserable and they're just kind of like like F- you I don't have to like make you I don't have to do anything to please you I'm just gonna do my own thing if you don't want to get I'll just go mind my own business right I like how they're at like they're just they're not eager to please and they're just they're just so cute yeah they're just they're cute and furry and I like their little claws and I like how they hate interaction. Yeah, they're they're pretty. Some of them are very uh, antisocial, and yeah, they all have their own little yeah. personalities. But yeah, they <laughs> most of them are just kind of like yeah, yeah. No, they, well, like like Mia is a cute snuggler, but like Day is not. Like she doesn't like that stuff. Yeah, she, like she'll 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 try and jump out of your arms if you try and hold her. But like Mia, though, as you know, like he'll just be like really calm. Yeah, and and just come up like you know I'll come home after work and he'll just like the first thing he does is hop in bed with me or, or when she gets home hops in bed with her i'll let i'll let her talk now she's out of the shower but i love cats and i support the cause what's your favorite cat name well my my first cat's name was sir pounce a lot and i thought that was pretty good that is my favorite one i've heard today so congratulations <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing well thank you for taking time out um enjoy the rest of your vacation So my cat's name is Victor. I've had him for about six years now, and his original name was Habanero, but I changed that because that name is incredibly pretentious. And I named him after Victor Frankenstein from Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. And as you've heard on many an episode, he is quite odd, and he is fairly overweight right now, but we're working on getting there. And he used to lick the air conditioning vent above my refrigerator. He doesn't play with cat toys. And he will make bread on you for literally two hours if you let him. I've timed it. And my three favorite things about cats are I can talk to the cat. And it's not talking to myself so I don't feel crazy. I can leave him home alone for a day or two if I really need to. But I don't like to do that because he'd be sad. And... God, I guess I really don't like cats all that much. <laughs> uh, he's fun to pet. He's very soft and snuggly. And the best cat name I ever heard was The Amazing Maurice from the book The Amazing Maurice and Educated Rodents. A fantastic book for young adults that I've read multiple times about a cat and some mice who eat some garbage outside a magician's school and they become super intelligent and have adventures. Cats. Meow. Hey. Hey, what's up, dude? How's it going? <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, so we're doing a podcast. It's me and my friend Joe here. Hi. Uh, and we are talking about cats today because it's International Cat Day. And since you just had kittens. Congratulations, by the way. That is a biological miracle, though I'm very impressed with the modern science. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we thought we'd, we would talk to you a little bit about cats today. All right. <laughs> So, so tell us about these kittens and, and the story behind everything, because this is technically not your cat, right? <laughs> yeah, technically not. It's actually my brother's. Uh, we were babies or pet sitting uh, his pets, and then we realized we all realized that the uh, cat was pregnant. So we decided just to hang on to it for 
uh, the duration of its pregnancy. And then we just gave birth maybe two days ago, and it was in our cabinet, actually, like in our kitchen cabinet, she gave birth. So you did go from cat sitting to babysitting then? <laughs> yeah, like we, we really went, we have a full house now, I think there's six, seven, eight, nine cats in the house now with, with the kittens. Oh, wow. So it's a full house. That's crazy. So what are your three favorite things about cats? My three favorite things, well, the one is that they, I guess that they're, they're so serious, but they're actually kind of quirky, so they always have that serious face, but then they do these goofy things that you wouldn't think a serious animal would do. And it always makes me laugh. And then the, uh, the other thing is just how they're about as obnoxious as they can be at like 2, 3 in the morning, and they always wake you up. But with that, they're a, they're a good alarm clock in the morning, so they'll wake you up at like 7 or 8 uh, no, with no problems there. And then, so what's my third favorite thing about cats? Well, you don't have to take them outside. You could just, they just have a litter box, and they, they do their thing, and you don't have to go out when it's wet or cold or middle of a hot summer day. You know, yeah. Things like that. You make some excellent points there. Uh, what is the best cat name you've ever heard in your life? I think it's our, I think it's our cat. His name is Mr. Magoots. He's super cute, too. He's a, he's a tabby, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's really and cute. He's got, his name started out as, I think it was like Cinnamon Swirl, and then that didn't, that didn't really fit with him. And then uh, he would get into our Cheetos bags. So we call him Chester, and I'm like, yeah, that doesn't fit him either. But he was kind of he, he was always kind of crabby, like really crabby and grumpy. So Mr. Magooch just kind of fits. Well, I know you have a very busy uh, day happening right now, so we won't keep you on too much longer. But we just wanted to thank you and for you know doing this and happy Cat Day! Yay! Meow. Thank you. Happy, happy Cat Day to everybody and <laughs> you too. Meow meow meow. meow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Uh, take care. Yep. She was a rescue from the Hairspray Humane Society. She's like around eight, eight-ish, I think now. Nice. What's your cat's yeah. name again? So this is, it's funny. So she came with the name at the Humane Society Pilgrim, which I like, I'm not the biggest fan of. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not into the Pilgrims. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So, but I don't want to like change it completely. So we just call her Pilly or a lot of times I okay. call her Tilly too. Oh, Pilly okay. or Tilly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I never use know. her full government name. See, the <laughs> only two pilgrims I know are pilgrims who destroyed the native population of the continental right. Americas. Yeah, and, and I don't want to like support that in any way. And there's also the protagonist from Pilgrim's Progress, which is a terrible book that Christians love. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so I got to Yeah, it's just Pilly or Tilly. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So what are your three favorite things about cats? That's what we asked everyone <laughs> three yesterday. Three favorite things about cats. All right, let's see. Um, well, I like that, like, they're always themselves and, you know, know what they like to do. They're kind of like, you know, she's like the ruler of the house. Um also, like, she, um, well, my cat, she's really um, affectionate. Like, she purrs so loud. So she's a big snuggler. And just, like, that they're playful and just, you know, super friendly. I mean, not all cats, but <laughs> my, my cat, yeah, she's, she's really, like, friendly. Like, we'll go up to anyone and purr and sit on you. And she doesn't love the dogs. I feel like that's one of the reasons why I waited for a while to get dogs. I felt like it felt so bad. But, I mean, she's fine. They're fine now. It's been a while. But, yeah, she was, like, the only, only pet for a long time. We are literally just calling people and harassing cat owners and having them tell us about their cats. That's totally okay. I'm sorry I couldn't answer before I was doing a board and brush. Um, tell me you didn't cats. have your... You didn't predict the future and know we were going to call you and talk to you about cats today? How? What? I'm offended. No, actually, I did not know that. <laughs> um... My cats lately, let's just see. Well, we've got Ellie. Ellie's a hot mess. <laughs> um, I literally have never had to take a cat to a vet for an anal gland issue. Are okay? you the second My person cat. today to have yeah. cats with butt issues? Yeah, we had another caller. Shut up! Yeah. They had a problem about a month ago with their cat's uh, anal That's glands. the same thing that happened to me. Like, That's... I like, because I, the smell, I knew the smell. Um, and I'm like, what the heck is this? And so I took her to the vet, and my vet was like, she walks out, and she's like, um, 
Ellie's anal glands are infected, and I look at her. I give her this, like, super puzzled look. She's like, I know. It usually only happens to cat or to dogs. And, she, and I was like, would you expect any less of my cat, though? For real. That's, Let's just be honest. Wow, that's wild. So what else about yeah. your cats? Yeah, tell us more about your cat. How many cats do you have? I have two. Okay. Wait, wait. Do I know John? John, I know you, right? Yes. We've met. Okay. I'm <laughs> trying to put name to face. Please. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm like, okay, I know I've met you before, yeah. Yes. Um, I have two nice. cats, Ellie and Macy. Um, actually, Macy's birthday was two days ago. Oh, nice. Happy, I sh- happy birthday. I should to stop cat. and get her a treat. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Oh, and also today's I'm, Happy International Cat Day. So Happy International Cat Day. Yeah, that's that's, that's what that's why you're catting people. Yes, that's exactly. You're why. going you're going catting <laughs> you're going catting after people, yo, because it's National Cat Day. It's actually depressing how few people we know who own cats. Yeah, we've been really struggling trying to find cat people. This has been a weird day. Are you serious? Yeah. It's it's wild. I could talk all day about like the crazy shit my cat put me through. You don't even understand. <laughs> well, let's not do all day, but let's hear a story <laughs> okay, or two. No, I didn't know you know. <laughs> M- Macy, she's my little petite little girl. She uh, she's like right up against me. Knows everything. Like she's gonna be all in my business. Even she like sits in a shower curtain in between the shower curtain and the like the. Um, liner where I take a shower. <laughs> That's adorable and kind of creepy at the and same then, time. <laughs> but then she tries to head bop me. <laughs> so she'll head bop my leg. And I'm like, are you kidding me, Macy? You're going to fall in here. Oh, my God. And so, like, yeah. So it's, she's using the shower liner to protect her from the shower as she head bops you while you're in the shower? <laughs> oh, my God. Listen, I have a crazy story about when I first got Macy. I used to take baths like all the time and so i have a picture it's on my facebook my facebook's deactivated right now (laughs) but i have a picture of macy standing on like you know where it's like hot cold and then like the middle one for like the whatever the shower portion right right macy is standing on them oh no like i like i kid you not i happen to have my phone in my hand it is like one of those pictures people think are photoshopped <laughs> and they're absolutely not five seconds after i took the photo she fell in and scratched mm-hmm. my legs like you would not oh, no. believe the... oh man i am impressed by the boldness of taking your phone into the bathtub with you <laughs> dude it was bad i i mean this is like when i first got her but things are going out for me buddy what else about my cats ellie's part trucker's van they were cu- they came here from Turkey in the 1980s. Ellie is just the turkey. That's what I call her. <laughs> Being vegan, I'm yelling, "Hey, turkey, come here!" Because <laughs> I know I'm talking to my cat. Right. <laughs> so now, if I ever hear you say you gotta take the turkey out of the oven, I need to know that I gotta come make some calls and save that cat. <laughs> oh God, no! I don't bake my cat in the oven. <laughs> No baking cat. No Even baking if it's cat. considered a turkey. <laughs> so what are your three favorite things about cats? About my cats or cats in general? In general. In general. Um, they're very hyper aware of situations. Um, they're very intuitive. I love that about them. I love that they're... People don't give them enough credit. They see things like... And I know it. And they're, I don't know, cats are just compassionate. Like, at least any cats I've ever come in contact with. Like, they're just lovey-dovey, like, want to rub up against you, be all up in your business, you know? Like, feeling like you don't have to, you don't have to let them out to go to the bathroom. The plus side, although you do have a litter box, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. But I love cats. I just do, my girls. Do you believe in putting your cats on a leash and walking them or not? Oh, okay. So I used to walk Macy. Yes. I did used to walk her. But before I found out that cats' shoulder blades are detachable, like they're not, they're not, they're just free floating in there. They're just chilling. Yeah. 
So, I I used to walk Macy, but then at Ellie one time I went to walk her. She got out of a harness and went oh, no. straight up towards a main road. I'm screaming belligerently. I'm like, Ey! like you would think so. Like seriously, it's some but my name. And I'm in my pajamas. It's like a Saturday afternoon, just chilling. I'm in like sweatpants and a tank top, and I'm running down the road, no shoes on, and I'm like. Ey! But I got her. So wow, you got really lucky there. That's that's gonna be uh, really bad. You know, you running yeah. and screaming in the middle of the street was probably less weird than you walking a cat around the street. But no, like I have walked Macy before. I bring Macy outside so she can see what it looks like outside because she does try to get out. So I figure if she if she at least knows what the area looks like. She'll know where to come back to. See, I hate doing that with my cat because let's say I have a room in my house and I don't want my cat to go in that room because there's chemicals or <laughs> he could get into that wouldn't be good. So I close that door and he's not allowed in that room. But then for some reason, I forget to close that door one time and he gets in that room and realizes it's a thing. And then guess who's in front of that door constantly meowing for the rest of his life? Victor. Um. So yep, I don't want him to go outside and realize there's a whole bright, beautiful world out there and be all Quasimodo on me and then get super <laughs> sad that he's all locked up inside all day. No, what I do is I carry her out. I hold her. I bring her out in all weather. I mean, downpouring to, at night, like anything, like anything, snow. I'll put her, I'll put her straight in the snow. I'm like, you don't want to live out here. You don't. Mommy takes way too good a care of you for you to want to go outside all the time. That's one way to do it. So next time he gets to one of those rooms, I just make it, block him in there, crank the heat up. I, oh, I, I, don't. <laughs> I do not. Okay, so first you're talking about cooking cats. Now you're talking about turning the heat up on cats. I, yeah, I think um, I'm taking this cat home with me. Do I need to alert somebody? <laughs> Do I need to alert somebody? John, can you handle this for me? I, I got it. I'm, I'm taking Victor home with me because, yeah. Well, while we're talking about cats being outside, so I used to live in an apartment, and I had a joining apartment to that apartment, and a woman in there had a cat as well. And she would, kind of like you, Amber, take the cat outside, but she would just take it and have it sit in our lap. And then, of course, it got up on the roof and just sat there on the roof ignoring her because it's a cat. And then she's sitting there trying to get this cat off the roof. And then... <laughs> I basically had to climb on the roof and kick it off because this poor lady kick couldn't. It off? All right, I sound like a terrible <laughs> person right now. I didn't kick it off. I scared it away, and so that I'm sure I shook my foot at. It. I shook everything. I had to get it off the roof. But my point Wait, is, okay, are we gonna have to call like an animal line or something? I like, will edit all this out, and so everyone will think I'm a soft. You better. You better. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, I haven't even blazed yet. Come on. <laughs> All right, one last question, Amber, before we let you go. What's the best cat name you've ever heard? Best cat name I've ever heard. Only okay, best cat name. I'll try to think. Okay, Rio. R E O. And it's based off. It's actually a cat I rescued. But it's based from, like, anime shit. <laughs> I will put a link to that in the show notes. Rio. Or Macy, M-A-S-E-Y. Because people say M Massey. And I'm like, my cat's name is not Massey. I thought she was a boy when I got her, so I named her Mason. And when I took her to the vet, they were like, whoops, she's a girl. And I was like, okay, Macy. I hate it when that happens. Well, because when they're little, you can't tell if they're a girl boy. It's kind of hard. Yeah, Amber. By the way, a... whose phone did I end up calling? You're uh, like, can you call this number? This is John's phone because apparently on the new iPhones, you can't record calls because Steve Jobs didn't believe in secretly wiretapping people. All right, Amber. This Who is... else can I tell you to like contact about cats? <laughs> if you know of anybody... Yeah, if you know anyone who has a cat who may want to talk to us, let us know. <laughs> just, just tell them to call you. Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? Absolutely. I'll be like, they're taking calls about cats. Just call these people. <laughs> All right, Amber. It's been uh, so much fun talking to you about cats, and I hope you had a good time painting and all that, and let's catch up soon. Thank you so much yes, for being Yes, absolutely. On. Take care. Bye.
Bye. Have a good night, guys. You, you too. too. Meow, meow, meow. 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 Meow, meow, meow.